Hello! In this video, we'll show you how to quickly create a company signature with shared email templates that everyone in your company can use. Ready to see how easy it is? Then let's get started! In the Shared email templates pane, I go to the Signatures tab, right-click the Company Signatures folder and select New Signature. The Shared email templates app opens in my default browser. First, I'll enter a name for the signature and select the color theme and layout template. Then I'll go to the Fields tab to set up fields that allow each of my colleagues to use the signature. These fields will automatically populate with my workmates' details, which can be pulled from Azure AD, Company Properties, Team Properties or User Profile Properties. In this video, I'll focus on pulling data only from my organization's Azure Active Directory and Company Account Properties. But you can also use Team or User Profile Properties to insert the details you need. Plus, you can even add your own custom properties to user profiles, teams, and the company account too. In the general section, I click the three dots next to the name of the section and select Load from Azure AD Properties. Remember, for the signature to pull information from Azure AD, all your colleagues must be logged into their Microsoft account. I think I don't need the company logo and disclaimer in my signature, so I'll remove those fields. To do this, I click the three dots next to the field and select Remove field. By the way, you can remove any field or even entire sections the same way. Let's move to the Contact Details section. You can easily pull all the necessary information from Azure AD for the whole section, but this time I'll show you how to use company properties. I click the three dots next to the Phone field and select Insert from Company Properties. In the dialog, I select Phone from the drop-down and click OK. I'll do the same for the email address. To add the website link, I type the name of the website that will be in the signature. Then I insert the website URL from the company properties. I remove the company address field and also add some social media links to the signature. As you can see, the signature is almost ready, but I want to add a clickable banner. I click the three dots next to the banner field and select Insert from OneDrive. I choose the image and click Select. Make sure the image you are using for the signature is shared with your colleagues, otherwise it won't show up in their signatures. To make this banner a call to action button, I'll add a hyperlink. I click the three dots next to the banner and select Insert Hyperlink. In the dialog, I enter the URL and click OK. Let me save the signature and insert it into my email. I like how it turned out. Hopefully my coworkers will like it too. Curious to see how my signature works for my colleague? Let me show you. When the signature is inserted, it appears in the email message with the colleague's personal details. And as you can see, the clickable banner is working as well. Let's go back to my signature and this time I would add a logo to the signature to see how it looks. I select the signature and click the Edit in Browser button. In the Shared Email Templates app, I click the Add Field button here and select the Company Logo checkbox in the dialog. Then I insert the logo from the Company Properties and voila, here it is! I saved the signature. To make the signatures the default for new messages, replies and forwards for my colleagues, I go to Manage Account, then Users and select the colleagues I want to assign the company signature to. In my case, I'll pick all users. But you can assign different signatures to different users. Then, I click the Signatures button and choose the company signature I just made for both new messages and replies and forwards. I also select the checkbox to have the signature show up automatically when the add-in pane is open. This way, the signature will appear when I start a new email, reply or forward, as long as the add-in pane is pinned or opened. Let's see how it works. I create a new email 
and the signature shows up in the message body right away. Perfect! Just make sure the shared email templates pane is open. Thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your shared email templates!